From the award-winning KCIW Newsroom, Newsbreak. Want to get into local politics? Well, now's your chance. There are two open seats on the Brookings City Council, this after the resignations of Mayor Ron Hedenskog and Councillor Michelle Morosky on November 13th. Hedenskog and Morosky, along with Councillor Ed Schreiber, were the targets of a landslide recall, but official results aren't expected until December 4th. And instead of waiting for those results and a special election to replace them, the mayor and Morosky resigned. Now, the Brookings City Charter calls for a special election if there is no quorum or at least three councillors. And those behind the recall effort expected a special election. But by resigning instead, the mayor and Morosky opened the door for new city councillors to be appointed by a quorum. And that's exactly what happened. A new councillor was appointed at the November 13th city council meeting after declaring Morosky's seat vacant. That means there's no need for a special election. Instead, two more city council members will be appointed. So if you're interested in being considered as a Brookings City Council member, you have until November 28th at 4.30 in the afternoon to turn in your application. We're told the council will review those applications during a public meeting and then decide who will be leading the city. Something to think about, once that happens, the Brookings City Council will consist of four appointed councillors and just one who was elected by the people. Now, all of this began with the theft and arrest, paid leave, and then reinstatement of city manager Janelle Howard. KCIW has been following this story for more than a year. You can find multiple reports, interviews, and background information on our website, kciw.org. But for now, if you'd like to get into local politics, you have until November 28th to turn in your application. For KCIW News, I'm Lori Gallo-Stoddard.